Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make a lightweight body milk perfect for summertime hydration. This is an ultra lightweight lotion with really good emolliency and this has taken me a long time to figure out how to create a lotion formula like this. I've been getting lots of requests for it so I'm very excited to be sharing it with you today as I feel like I've gotten it just right. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my full visual process and tutorial of how to put together this beautiful ultra lightweight lotion. If you would like the full recipe with amounts and percentages so you can scale up or down as you like with a full downloadable PDF with step-by-step -step instructions, please head on over to my Patreon campaign where you can unlock this recipe, download the PDF at just the $5 level. Just at the $5 level, there's hundreds of recipes and tutorials for you to access just by signing up. I really hope you'll give it a chance if you haven't already. I'll go ahead and put the link to my campaign in the description box below. There are also four other tiers for you to take a look at and take advantage of, each with their own unique benefits. We offer things like live quarterly classes, live monthly hangouts, gift packages, and coupon codes to my favorite suppliers at sign up, making your sign up very well worth it. I hope you give it a try. We're going four years strong with a community now of almost 3,000 makers, and it's a great way to connect with me and other makers. All right, let's make some body milk. All right, so this formula consists of four phases, A, B, C, and D. And although that sounds kind of complicated, I assure you once you get your method down on this formula, it's pretty easy to put together. So the first thing we're gonna do is weigh off our phase A ingredient, and it's only one ingredient. We're gonna be putting it into this larger beaker because eventually the whole formula is gonna go into this beaker and we're making a 400 gram batch. So if you've been following me for a while, you're gonna laugh because I am gonna be using Super Clear again as my phase A ingredient. Uh, you guys have seen me use this recently in lots of different formulas, including sugar scrubs, lip scrubs, foaming scrubs, foaming, um, body washes, all kinds of things. So this is a natural oil gelant. You can get it at makesy.com. Um, I have an affiliate link below if you wouldn't mind using my affiliate link if you're gonna shop at Makesy for this product or any other product. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and weigh off our Super Clear as our phase A ingredient. And what I'm really liking about this formula is that there's very minimal ingredients and we're making a very nice, pretty natural formula here. So we're gonna go ahead and put our super clear aside and then we're gonna be weighing off phase B into this beaker. Phase B is my favorite phase. It has some luxurious ingredients here and natural ingredients. So the first thing we're gonna do is weigh off some jojoba oil Jojoba oil is a very luxurious oil. It's very, very close to our own skin sebum. It's actually a wax, but we call it an oil. It's golden in color. It absorbs very easily into the skin. It's lightweight and just has a very, very good emolliency to it. And as you can see, this formula is gonna have a high oil content in it. That's also Something that I like about this formula is you can add a lot of oil because of that very versatile super clear that we're gonna be using, making this a lightweight yet very luxurious. The next thing we're gonna be adding is some cocoa butter. I have these cocoa butter pastilles. I got these from brambleberry.com and cocoa butter is very healing to the skin. Um, it's moisturizing and healing and it's protective. So this formula, even though it's lightweight, it does stick to your skin and gives you a really nice kind of, um, well, it's very emollient, but I'll give you a use demo at the end to show you, but it gives you just a really good kind of glow to your skin. So we're gonna be adding in some cocoa butter. It's hard to believe looking at all this oil that we're gonna have a lightweight body milk at the end and it's just so cool the way the chemistry works on this project. All right. 
So we're going to go ahead and set this aside for just a second and I'll be right back for the next step. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is weigh off our phase C ingredients. Now this will become part of the phase B ingredients, but we don't want to heat these ingredients up. So I have considered them their own little phase here, but we're going to go ahead and weigh off our preservative and our fragrance oil now. So I'm using a combination of Nature's Garden Vanilla Lace and Pearls and also Nature's Garden um, Vanilla Madagascar type. And I'm just using my own little combination here of the two. It smells very, you know Vanilla Lace and Pearls is my favorite vanilla, but the Madagascar type adds a unique kind of leathery note to it. Okay, and then to this we're going to be adding in our preservative. Now I'm using Optifin preservative today because this does have a high oil content and Optifin is used for formulas that have a higher oil content. And I'm just mixing this in with my fragrance oils. And then I'm going to give face C a little stir to combine. And then I'm going to set aside my face C ingredients. Next, I'm going to weigh off my face D ingredients. Actually, my face D ingredient, I should say, is just some distilled water. And I'm going to put that onto my larger scale here. Perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and set aside my phase D water. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and heat up my oil phase, my phase B, and get that cocoa butter all melted down and get this to a liquid state. All right, now that I have my oily ingredients all warmed up and that cocoa butter melted down, I'm gonna go ahead and take the temperature. We should be sitting right around 143, 140-ish. So we're gonna go ahead and add in, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't too hot to combine that preservative, which we're not because I'm using the 176 Optifin. Um, so we're going to go ahead and add in the fragrance oil and the Optifin right into this oil phase here. So we're taking our phase C and combining with our phase B. And then we're going to give this a good stir to combine. And then this is next part coming up, we're going to be combining the phase B into the phase A. So we're going to take these oily ingredients and combine them with our oil gelant. And you guys have seen this in my other videos where I use Super Clear. We're going to be making a oily gel. So the actual, if you're used to seeing these formulas over on my Patreon campaign, the actual amount of Super Clear is a smaller percentage than we're used to seeing, and that will make sense as we go along when I show you the next step after this. So we're gonna be creating a gel out of this first. So I'm gonna add a tiny bit in. That's how you work this. You only add in a little bit at a time. And then I'm using my stick blender. and 
I'm going for an, an opaque kind of runny oil. Now it's important not to go too fast with this. You want to make sure it really looks white and opaque before you add any other um, oil phase to this just to make sure everything is fully combined. If you go too fast with this, the oil will not combine and it will not create a gel. Okay, you know that you're ready to move on when your formula looks something like that, opaque and white. And then from there, you're just gonna add little bits of oil until it's all combined. This process can take about 10 minutes. You, you can't add in more oil before this little bit is combined. Just a little bit at a time. Okay, so this is a product that actually builds viscosity as you go forward. So again, you only add a little bit at a time and then you wait till it's fully combined and as you're going, you're gonna see that it builds viscosity and gets thick like a gel. Now that my phase B, C, and A ingredients are all combined, this is what it looks like. It looks like a beautiful, golden, kind of glossy, very viscous gel. Now, what we're gonna do is slowly start to combine the water phase, the phase D, into this oil gel, and then we're gonna create a beautiful and luxurious ultra lightweight lotion out of this mixture. Sucra Clear is not only an oil gelant, but it's also an emulsifier. So it will combine the oils and the waters very effectively. So I'm gonna start out by just adding in a little bit of water. So you can see it turning white. And I'm gonna give it a, a blend here with my stick blender. Now this is where it gets tricky because you don't want to incorporate too many bubbles, but you do need to break up that gel. There you can see I'm starting to get a very nice lotion-like consistency. Very, very gorgeous. Now, as it begins to get a little more watery, it's easier to incorporate bubbles. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to hand stirring in the rest of the water. All right, I went ahead and cleaned off my stick blender. And now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and slowly incorporate the rest of the water by hand. But as you can see, we're getting a nice lightweight lotion consistency. Just wanna show you what that looks like so far. I'm going for more of a liquidy lotion. So I'm gonna add in the rest of my water here, little bits at a time. It's really not that much left. But this way I'm avoiding the added bubbles from the stick blender. You just wanna make sure you stir deliberately so you're not whipping up too many bubbles. And then I'm going to 
gonna go ahead and add in the rest. And there you go, everybody. We just made a beautiful ultra lightweight lotion or body milk. Now I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it into some containers and give you a bit of a use demo. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is go ahead and package up this body milk. But I wanted to give you an idea of what the final consistency looks like also. Just a super lightweight lotion. Okay. Now I'm just going to pour this into some 8 ounce PET containers. See how nice and pourable that is? There you go everybody that's how you make a beautiful body milk let's go ahead and see how this formula works this would be great in an airless pump as well but really just a little bit goes a long way so you're just going to put a little bit let me see if i can get a better angle there see how nicely this just comes right out of there and it just smooths in and like i said earlier it just leaves your skin super hydrated it feels very emollient and it just kind of gives you that nice summertime glow. Even though it's very lightweight on the skin, it has a very nice rich and velvety glide to it. And I'm really, really loving this formula. I hope you do too. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please leave some comments or questions below. Subscribe to my channel and why not share this video with a friend? All right, everybody, catch you on the next video. Bye, keep shining.